फार्मको विजिलेंस प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंडिया पीवीपीआई सो फार्मको विजिलेंस इज नॉट न्यू फॉर इंडिया ओके स्टार्टेड इन 1998 बट इन बिटवीन देयर वाज नो प्रोग्रेस ऑन फार्मको विजिलेंस इन इंडिया बट रिसेंटली इन लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स it boom it is booming and uh, our regulatory authorities are uh, into it taking uh, i would say preparing more regulations guidelines so uh, when india decided to join the upsala center for adverse event monitoring in 1998 in recent years many indian companies are increasing the investment in research and development and are enhancing their capacity to develop and market in new drugs with their own research efforts so if uh, new drugs are being developed then these things are required pharmacovigilance regulations and everything thereby stressing the importance of developing their own adequately designed pharmacovigilance systems in india that is the that is required now that is compulsory now for all for an effective pharmacovigilance system to be functional and efficient all the stakeholders need to be alert and attentive throughout the life cycle of a medicine product in the market the office of the dcgi drug controller general of india has been making sincere attempts for the implementation of national pharmacovigilance program in india that is npp national pharmacovigilance program what are the objectives of pharmacovigilance in india the mon to monitor adrs in the indian populations to create awareness amongst healthcare professionals in india so that if they got to know about any adverse events and all they will report it to the regulatory authority or to the mah to the manufacturer to monitor the benefit risk profile of the medicine that is one of the aim objective generate independent evidence based recommendations on the safety of the medicines safety related regulatory decisions for medicine like if the product is not safe uh, then uh, the appropriate actions will be taken for the recall or maybe uh, different uh, suggestions will be given to improve the safety okay then uh, communicating the findings with the key stakeholders the uh, safety and other things risk associated with the product create national center for excellence at part with with global drug safety monitoring standards so that is also one of the objectives so these are the npp or pvpi objectives in india this is this is just an example or i would say sample of uh, the government orders basically so this is one of the order where they uh, made it mandatory for the companies to provide the financial assistance to the clinical trial patients who suffered from clinical trial drugs okay so that is one of the order that is passed by the government so these type of orders basically they pass in different different uh, domains this is one another order that cdsco have passed amended the 1938 drug and cosmetic act schedule by regulation emphasizing on the voluntary reporting of adverse drug reactions it was in on 8 march 2016 regarding the adverse event reaction this particular gazette uh, order was passed 